After marrying Sir Clifford Chatterley, Connie assumed the title of Lady Chatterley and appeared to be set for a life of money and pleasure. But as Clifford returns from the First World War with wounds that have rendered him unable to walk, this idealistic relationship slowly turns into an imprisonment. When she first encounters and falls in love with Oliver Mellers, the estate's gamekeeper, she experiences a sensuous and sexual awakening as a result of their private liaisons. However, when word of their relationship spreads within the community, Connie is forced to make a crucial choice, to go against her heart or to stay with her husband and conform to Edwardian society's expectations. Before we begin, we kindly ask that you like and comment on the video since this will allow us to expand our niche. Thank you. Clifford Chatterley marries Constance Connie Chatterley while he is away during the Great War. Due to a war injury, Clifford is paralyzed below the waist when he gets back to England. The two relocate to Tavershall, a region with active coal mines that is close to the Chatterley estate of Ragby. Those who attended Clifford's former school now congregate in Ragby, where they frequently spend the evenings chatting. By typing out Clifford's stories and serving as a sounding board, Connie assists Clifford in learning to write. Connie initially seems happy with their relationship and thinks they have a close connection. She eventually becomes restless and starts to question the purpose of everything. She has an affair with one of the young visitors, Michaelis, because she feels like something is lacking from her life with Clifford. She can have orgasms on her own, but Michaelis is unable to please her during sex. Michaelis doesn't mind because he is so happy with how kind she is to him. When he visits, they share a bed, and occasionally they meet in London. Clifford explains to Connie one day that he would like a kid so that he may pass Ragby down to the next generation and keep it as a part of Old England. He says he would not mind if she became pregnant through a different relationship. A few days later, while out for a walk in the woods, Connie and Clifford run across the gamekeeper, Oliver Mellers. Later, Connie observes Oliver Mellers washing himself outside of his cottage while he is shirtless. She feels something stir in her when she sees his white and pale figure, and she is curious about him. She takes off her clothes that night and looks in the mirror of her bedroom at her naked figure. Her body is no longer ripe and is flaccid. She sobs herself to sleep and gets angrier and angrier with Clifford. After some time, Connie contacts Hilda Reed, her sister, who eventually visits Ragby and expresses displeasure at her sister's poor condition and her husband's ignorance of it. Connie is taken to a doctor by Hilda in London, who informs her that she is well but that she is stressed out and has to do something fun to get better. Hilda says that Clifford needs to find someone else besides Connie to help him with his needs. Mrs. Bolton, a former parish nurse, is his co-worker. As soon as Mrs. Bolton shows around, Connie is released from caring for Clifford and begins to emotionally remove herself from him by spending more time alone and going for walks in the woods. She comes across a cottage in a clearing where Mellers has constructed chicken coops during one of her forays into the woods. Connie enjoys sitting there and watching the chickens and Mellers because she considers the area, especially the birds, to be quite relaxing. Mellers dislikes how his privacy is being invaded. The area and hut serve as a haven for him as well. He doesn't like Connie being there because he prefers isolation and can't make her leave because she is the wife of his employer. His meticulously guarded environment becomes more vulnerable when Connie requests a key, but he eventually grants her request. They begin to talk and grow to know one another as Connie visits him virtually every day and he takes care of the chickens every day. Mellers has a need that he wants to suppress that Connie ignites. He is aware that becoming engaged with a lady will only make his miserable history worse. He is unable to suppress his yearning, though. He also piques Connie's physical interest, and she is relieved that someone is interested in her femininity after years of being neglected by her husband, who favors the intellectual over the sensual. The two Connie and Mellers have sex shortly. They go through a number of difficulties to overcome their particular anxieties after that. Despite their physical attraction, both first show a lot of resistance in accepting their relationship. Mellers doesn't want to be open to women because he thinks he will get burned again like he has in the past. 
Connie initially wants to keep their relationship solely physical and is resistant to get emotionally involved. Problematically, she then rejects the physical since she feels nothing. They finally get through these issues and confess their feelings for one another. How can they be together? Is the current problem they face. They come from different socioeconomic strata and are both married. They must acquire a divorce from their partners in order to coexist. The issue is not one of finances, which both parties have, but rather one of vocation. Mellers has to be working in order to feel fulfilled, but his chances are slim given that he is having an affair with his master's wife. Okay guys quick pause to remind you to comment like the video and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see on with the recap. She sets the notion of going to Venice with her sister in her husband's head after spotting pregnancy symptoms, and she also helps spread the word in the community that they are actively trying to conceive. When Hilda arrives to pick up Connie for the journey, she finally learns about Oliver. She expresses her strong disapproval to the lovers and tells them as much before leaving to spend the night. Inquiring about a portion of Oliver's war pension because they are not divorced, Oliver's ex-boyfriend wife stops by the cottage and discovers Connie's proof. He promotes untrue allegations about Oliver and Connie at the pub, using her silk underwear and book as proof. When Clifford learns, he fires him. Connie rushes back to meet Oliver after receiving a warning from Mrs. Bolton. Connie returns to the manor after Oliver promises they will get back together as soon as they can. She tells Clifford that she left because of his lack of affection. Connie informs him that she is expecting a child with Oliver, but he says he would never grant her a divorce as she departs for London and Venice. Mrs. Bolton pledges to inform people that Connie is looking for Oliver. They stay in Venice for a few months before growing weary of its intimacy and leaving for London. A lady who gave up her rank and fortune for their gamekeeper because she loves him has become well-known throughout the UK thanks to word of mouth from pub to bar. Oliver invites Connie to join him in a letter that she receives. To live simply with him in the country, she travels approximately 2,000 kilometers north in her car.